Welcome friends to another Dune video. Today we look at Leto II and how he is tested by his grandmother to see if he could be or is an abomination. Let's get straight into it. At Jakua 2, it was where the half-legendary smuggler stronghold should be, Fondak. But what if it were not Fondak? What if the taboo still ruled and this was only the shell of ghostly Jakua 2? And as Leto moves stealthily, he finds himself captured by someone who knows him and is taken. His captor is Gurney Halleck and a Fremen called Namre is also there and she has been selected to kill him if it comes to that. Leto is told that he will take spice and must go through this or what his father dared will hang over him. Leto tries to move his body but his muscles refuse to obey. Spice has been injected into him. He was in a spice trance. He hears his father's voice saying he will protect Leto from the others. And he has a vision where his skin was not his own. And he saw branches, a multidimensional relief map of his own future existence. He saw fragments of the past and future. And then motion caused them to be modified. And he could not separate past and present. And the presence of Paul in Leto tells his son that he's learning stroboscopic awareness and he needs that to not lose his mark in time this is the way to slow down or stop motion so we to see what he wants in the visions let his awareness floated with no barriers and he saw the provisional future which shared awareness of that with many others and in this way all of his past every inner life became his own with the help of the greatest within him he dominated they were his he had achieved distance and could see all his own life and Paul no longer stood guard. The past gave him harem, an ancestor, and without him, Leto knew the far future would not be. And with this ally, whichever life he chose, in his memory, he could live it freely. But Leto could be lost in that, and Namu was there with a knife if they saw his other lives controlling him, if he proved to be an abomination so he must keep control. He wakes and tells Namre that prescience to see everything is a myth. Only local currents can be read, and in an endless universe, that small current can seem gigantic. He sees Namre has been told to look for indifference in him. She says that would be a sign of unbridled power. Leto tells her, there was no moral grandeur to my father's life, Namre, only a local trap which he built for himself. Leto, through his experience here, seems to now be aware of that and so could avoid it. I think this is also part of Jessica's plan to not have another Paul to lead the people into further war. To Leto, the memory lives in him were like waves, but if he commanded them, they would retreat and he would, could choose to listen when he wanted. In the end, he would reach a point soon where it would be life or death. If Namri and Gurney were not happy with him, his life could be ended. What answer did they want, though? The old Bene Gesserit missionary protectiva knew what they were doing, he thought. They knew about terrible purposes. They knew how to manipulate people and religions. Even my father didn't escape them, not in the end, and he found a clue there, and says he will now test them. To claim absolute knowledge is to become monstrous. That senses have two levels. He realises trivia a message. He says it to Namri. Namri gave him trivia and so he gave a message. And he says to her, I've made you conscious of your own existence. Life requires dispute. A lack of respect is an important part of religion. Another part of his golden path, I think, forms here, breaking free of the Benedictine bounds by breaking the small sandbox the Imperium room operates in. Then Leto speaks to Gurn of Paul's journey and how he was trapped by the prescience. Halleck presses him. Leto says his inner father and Leto himself are, are, are allied against what was made of his father, as he wants to ally against any force which brings humiliation on mankind. The Imperium's monolith was but a single question, and having more than a single answer, having diverse answers, is what is needed. Leto says for Gurney to send word, that he will cooperate with the sisterhood. I think this is meaning Jessica being sent to confront Alia rather than cooperating with a larger plan. 
and with that he passed into his new awareness, later felt the shapes of humans passing as archetypes, and they were integrated into him. And he says to his father within, it, within him, how will people know he's dangerous unless they experience him for thousands of years? He was given another melange dosage, and later wonders why he must stay now after realising so much. A voice tells him, it is the future that forms the present, with the future being set. Current events, to get there, assure the future happens. Fear filled him at this, at the voice, as he might be losing his command of the many voices inside him. All the voices are against him at this moment, even Hiram, and he sees that before he'd chosen power over the voices in the reality of the trance, but what he should be doing was facing the fear that had defeated Alia. Later sees that his memories do not invent the next moment for him, but only show him how to create new ones, i.e. they are trapping him within the memories. And so realising that, and with facing that fear, he finds himself in a space that was quiet, where he could be himself, and from where he could hear the voices, true integration with all the minds, even Hiram, I believe they all become him, that he becomes a new being. Now he sees the voices from a distance, and they fall into line with his own quiet, and then later became himself, his own person, encompassing the entirety of his past, later woke, and has passed the test, and he tells the Fremen he has had a vision, and says, without spice the empire falls apart, and planets will lose contact and turn inward, and he sees the changes he must make to make sure that that and his large golden path come to be true. And to do that, humanity must go through a great deal of suffering. Later tells the Fremen that brutal things must be done to remove humanity's barrier. You know, I, I record a lot of videos and it's only sometimes, and definitely in this case, that I appreciate how great some of the passages are within the novel. This really opened my eyes to the journey that Leto went through when he was being attested to see if he was an abomination. So after that little revelation for myself, I turn things over to you, friends. Got a comment to make? Disagree with any of my interpretations, in quotes, about Leto's journey? Do you disagree? Well, let me know. Let's have a talk about it.